Hello, how's everybody doing? How's oh, so I missed the fucking hey hens. Hey hens, how's everybody diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? First and foremost, look at my fucking colour palette today. I feel like baby spice bitch. Also got a little guest, actually. You wanna come say hello? Hello. Oh shit, Bella we're nearly knocking the entire thing out. Do you wanna say hello to the camera? Hey be I'm terrified. The audacity. If I look like I'm sweating, it's literally because I am, babe. Sit. I do think she was Marilyn Monroe in a past life. Definitely not Einstein. I was making my coffee right and I was like, you know what? I just need an inspirational song. And then I remembered this is me from The Great Showman. So I had to replay that three times and obviously make up my own dance to it and everything. And I like, I create scenarios in my head, right? To like support my delusions. Every one of the simmers, we were in this pub and then that asked me to come up and sing and then I was singing This Is Me by The Great Showman and everyone's like, oh my god, didn't even know you could sing and I'm like, hey, hey, well, you know, I like to keep it a secret, don't like to brag Also, I am fucking obsessed with Victorians, that's just another thing to shot in there while I've got yous, while we have the time Plot twist, depression Today, a fun little video, I'm going to be sharing my unpopular Sims opinions but Yeah, I reacted to your Sims opinions recently and then I wanted to share mine Listen, I have them I have very unpopular opinions and I am aware of this So I've made a list It's not an exhaustive list This is not every single unpopular opinion I have If you don't agree with it, that's f you, you, To be honest, usually I do quite good in the Sims community People don't usually tend to attack me Thank you for that, I really appreciate it But please don't attack each other in the comments Because if you ever watched that Fairly Your Parents episode where everybody's the same and then Timmy just gets bored as fuck. Different strokes for different folks, babe. Whatever floats your boat. Well, different boats have different floats, you know? Do you know what I mean? Not every boat has a sailor. Some boats are a cruise. I need to write a book. You know what, no, I don't like saying like, I think we're getting a bit too, this is a rant. I don't like saying we're getting a bit too comfortable attacking each other in the Sims community because honestly, on YouTube, the comments on here tend to be very, 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 very fair and also very respectful. And I do think I have nurtured quite a kind and caring community that actually enjoy hearing other people's point of view. I think the problem is Twitter because Twitter doesn't allow for nuance. Because if you were apply to this and be like, oh, I see what you see about this point, but I actually enjoy that because of this point and you can type a long thingy, then we can all learn from each other's understandings. But on Twitter, you've got a very small space of text and it just doesn't allow for nuance. Literally, Twitter should just be like a Facebook status, like is in the bath. That should be Twitter anyway. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't shout at you, ma'am. The first one that we've got. I don't like The Sims on slow mode or a short lifespan. That is my first unpopular opinion. I can't, honestly, I can't stand it. And, and I have installed mods to make the lifespan even shorter before. And that's why I like The Sims 3 so much because I clearly have a very unique taste towards gameplay like i focus everything on birthdays and i don't like my sims living too long bit worrying actually much to unpack and that's why i like the sims 3 because it was so customizable that i didn't really have to install mods because i could just check out like i'm not being fucking funny but toddlers being toddlers for seven days is way too long for me babe honest nah nah Nah. Babies, I have babies at one day, toddlers at four days, children at seven days, teens at 12 days, and then adults, we'll get onto that point later. That's the first one. And I know that Kayla's doing a short lifespan and she said to me that she just doesn't have time to do anything. That is my gameplay. And I play on fast mode speed three, babe. I just get so bored. And that's not just a problem that's like in The Sims 4. It's a me problem actually, because it's been in The Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4. I get very bored of games very fast, just generally. I have a very short attention span, so I need, like, this fast-paced... Because that's, like, that brings me fun, but having to play something on slow mode, not fun for me. Not, like, I just don't enjoy it, actually. Bit shit. I also watch YouTube videos on Speed 3, so that might give you more understanding. Next one is, honestly, if this one might not be an unpopular opinion. I hate gameplay in two-story houses, which I don't think is an unpopular opinion i just i've haven't really seen this talked about much but i can't stand it like always sims 2 sims 3 sims 4 always in like a one-story house sims 1 i was like listen i can live i lived in a bunk well this is a bungalow with a renovated loft so i've never had the two-story experience so i did live vicariously in a two-story house in the sims 1 a lot but in the rest of the games on camera i prefer like two-story game the two-story houses and stuff like that and i always build two-story houses because they're more aesthetically pleasing a lot of the time and you can kind of fit a lot more in and do a lot more with them and architecturally they're just easier to like plan out in terms of gameplay purely for me off camera i actually find it really disjointed to play in a two-story house if i'm only on the one floor 
the other floor doesn't exist to me in my mind. So say if I'm downstairs and the mum's making dinner, I'll forget to wake all of the kids up for school because I won't be able to physically see that they're still in bed if they're in bed upstairs. So that's why I like it in one bungalow because then I feel like I can more easily control the entire house, especially if it's one person, then as many floors as you fucking want. But if it's a family, then I need to have it all in my peripheral vision, babe. I am the creator, therefore I am. This one is going to be a controversial opinion. I just need everybody to, to just take a breath before I say this. I see a lot of things online that The Sims 4 is so shit that building is good, if that makes any sense. Because building hasn't really been that much of a popular thing in terms of like content and what people will consume and stuff like that. Like people have always downloaded houses, people have always built houses, etc, etc. But it tended to be like storylines and Sims and creator Sims, like summer themed creator Sim was what people tended to consume a lot. And then now in The Sims 4, we really consume build videos a lot. Lot. like build videos have fucking blew up in the sims 4 and i see some arguments that that's because the gameplay is so shit that we just have building to rely on i don't think that's the case i don't think that the gameplay is so shit that it makes the building look good which building's never been fun really before i, th I don't think that's the case i think that building has just literally been the best it's ever been in any of the sims franchises even without the color wheel which i will get on to later it's just really easy to build a house in the sims 4 and it's also really easy to make a house look good it's hard to match wood I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been playing The Sims since year 2000, actually, funnily enough, and I have never been, I've never considered myself a strong builder. In fact, I've been pretty shit. I am actually gonna try and find a photo, right? I did actually try and start a Plumbella channel, like, multiple times. <laughs> oh, I found her. This is my build in The Sims 3. And that was, that, I mean, this has been me since I've been playing the game since the year 2000, babe. So I don't necessarily think that it's because The Sims 4 is, the gameplay is so shit that it makes builders and finally look good i think is that building has just become a lot easier and a lot easier to make look better but that's not to say the gameplay isn't lacking because it most definitely is however also i will say not an unpopular opinion i think a lot of us are holding this opinion because i see a lot of people starting to have fun with the sims 4 gameplay again i think that the sims 4 gameplay is improving my darling actually next up Ooh, i'm sorry i feel like i'm gonna be fucking cancelled every single time i say this i do not miss the color wheel babe i do not miss her i don't i don't think she's necessary in my life i think i get on just fine without her and this is exclusively exclusively for objects objects only literally like i couldn't get mm, i would like it for walls i think or maybe just create a style for walls or something like i wish we could color different panels or something but create style for like objects oh fuck me no fuck me it used to take me i just used to give up i have a literally i think you you might have learned throughout this video i have a very short attention span and create a style just took so fucking long in the sims 3 oh oh i literally i'm getting tired just thinking about it because i do want and then it'd be so laggy and take so fucking long it's much better on this gaming computer but i literally only have that because i'm a gaming youtuber and a variety streamer actually but on my little old laptop i'd have to wait five minutes for the creator style to load not everybody has a gaming computer that can do creator style fine it can get fucked in my opinion i just i prefer the sims 4 I prefer The Sims 2's way of doing swatches where you could like colour different things and all beds have the same swatches. But I also, I like The Sims 4 objects because a lot of the colours are quite modern, but also modern styles tend to change really fast. So a lot of colours could be outdated. I refuse to believe that The Sims 3 colour palette was ever in fashion. That would be a, a definite hit um to the human race if I accepted that or if I thought that, that they were ever in fashion definitely embarrassing and this is not an unpopular opinion I just want to very clearly state my stance on this I think that skin color eye color hair color those are three things that should most definitely be on a fucking color wheel and why were they ever considered to not be on a color wheel I don't fucking get it I don't get it like the three things that can make a sim so personal to you hair color eye color skin color my natural hair isn't even in the fucking game I mean not this blonde I'm not I'm not naturally blonde actually i am a bit of a fake bitch this is bleach but like my natural hair is a mousy brown and what have they gave me cheese and i'm vegan cheese gromit like honestly big fucking fans of wallace and gromit must work behind the scenes at the sims 4 because mm, i don't I cheese away cheese fucking cheese you gotta laugh or you'll cry babe you gotta laugh or you'll cry this one is also 
another riskier one and i'm really i'm really sorry to everybody who i may offend with this one but gameplay with some expansions in the sims 2 and sims 3 were lacking i'm sorry to say it and i'm not talking about the sims 2 free time like she is not involved in this conversation because she she set the fucking precedent she is stunning she is grace she is fucking beautiful and i'm not talking about the sims 3 generations either some packs were a bit shit which i think hear me out hear me out in the sims 4 some packs are a bit shit Th this is more easily highlighted because at the core of it the sims 4 gameplay is so vastly different to the previous games and so less deep shall we say, in the previous games, that bad packs tend to stand out more. Where the, Because The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, at the base of it, I could very easily play The Sims 2 base game and The Sims 3 base game for a, a long time and not get bored because I'm a gameplay simmer. I fucking love gameplay. If I was a builder, I couldn't play The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 for hours and not get bored. But the gameplay in The Sims 2 and 3 is just inherently good. Where in The Sims 4, even though it's a lot better, it's still lacking compared to the earlier game so bad packs tend to show more but the sims 2 and sims 3 bad packs are more hidden because the general base game is so good unpopular opinion i do not care for pets in game i find them to be very actually i find them to be more annoying versions of toddlers i liked them in the sims 3 because they're more controllable and they had little animals and also more variety of animals and i liked the hamsters in the sims 2 i have been made aware that the cages weren't the proper size though but if i can't control them i don't want them so i like like, I, I literally, cats and dogs, people rave about cats and dogs. I thought the pack was a bit shit for me personally because I'm just not interested in animals in games, specifically animals that I can't control. Also, things that I don't really care about. Adults in any of the Sims games. If I started off with an adult, right, I really bond with them. And then as soon as they have a kid, I'm like, well, I've got a shiny new toy now, but you can fuck off. So much to unpack there, actually. Do I think that you know life ends after having kids perhaps and maybe that's why my mum and sister were teenage mothers and i have yet to bear the fruit of my loins and probably won't for a long time actually that is obviously satire i don't think that your life ends once you have a kid because my mum's life honestly she has the best life and i wish i'd have had kids young honestly yeah i do regret not having kids young mm. I do, I do. Because my mum got pregnant at 17 and my sister got pregnant at 17. And like, I love their lives. You know, everything worked out good for them. It was a struggle, but it's also a struggle having kids late. Although I will say, I think things are different anyway. I'm, I think things are different in America, but we're getting on a whole motherfucking topic here anyway. I'm not promoting teenage pregnancy or anything like that. I am not. But teenage pregnancy is also my experience. So do you know what? If I say that I am not mad about the fact that my mum was a teen mum because my mum is a brilliant mum. And I also think, do you know what? Young parents get looked down upon all the time you can be 40 and be a shit mom my mom was a fucking amazing mom thank you I get really heated whenever i think that julia's being attacked honestly my mom's a fucking amazing mom she is she's an amazing woman i'm gonna cry <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my god what the fuck oh, i just love my mom honestly listen i was born in july and i am a cancer baby and my family just means so much to me <laughs> And my mum is the strongest woman I've ever known. And I aspire to be my mum. My mother's a, 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 a serious, like, a trigger topic for me, apparently. Like, I used to hate it in school when people would make your mum jokes. Because I used to take them really personally and I'd be like, leave my mum out of this. <laughs> I'm not even hormonal. I've got no excuse for this, apart from the fact I'm a cancer and a family-oriented sim. Anyway, back on The Sims. Um, I don't really care for adults in the game because I am such a family simmer. I just love raising kids in The Sims 4, but I love kids in real life as well. I don't, I don't like it when people make jokes about kicking babies because I am constantly surrounded by children and I think children are so fucking funny i think they're hilarious and i relate a lot more to children than adults actually because kids don't take life too seriously much to unpack actually i think i've always been in a child's state of mind really is it the autism is it the childhood trauma is it both much to unpack much to unpack but yeah you know what i just love fucking family gameplay let's not complicate things let's not fucking worry about it i love family gameplay and i'm not alone in that and that's that's why generations has been absolutely amazing my children's bedrooms are very highly decorated and my adults bedrooms are literally a bed and wallpaper that's all i get 
Sorry, do I have any more unpopular opinions? Listen, I think this video has been an emotional roller coaster for me. Would you just believe me if I said I'm actually the most stable I've ever been in, in my life? And do you know what? I have healthy emotions now. Like, I'm crying over how much I love my mum and not crying because I genuinely think that life is going to end. I'm happy. Bit delusional, but I've always been bitch. It's the genetics, in it? But thank you all very, very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Although, you know what? You might not want to, but I'm so... <laughs> This is brave, this is bruised, I am who I'm meant to be, this is me. Thank you all, love you all, bye!